Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. And together we are K and K Crochet. Welcome back to Nostalgic Christmas 23. This is a collaboration that Ella from No Catchy Name asked us to participate in with her. Mm -hmm. And so each day that we present a video this month, there'll be 12 of them, we're sharing the 12 memories of Christmas. And the memories are nostalgic to us. They are things that um, bring back wonderful memories for us about Christmas. I share mine from my childhood and Kristen then shares hers from her childhood. And so that way you get both together. And we also are sharing some crochet patterns that remind us of things. I'm working on a continuous crochet project throughout the whole event that will be for our treat. And so, and along the way you get all the stories about all the Christmas things that make me the Christmas nut that I am, the Christmas queen. And, um, I'm known as that everywhere. And so for Halloween, this was my outfit, this and the shawl that Bailey made me, the wrap. And so I wore this every year. I wear a Christmas outfit for Halloween. I've done that two or three years. One mm -hmm. year, I even made a snow white wig out of crochet so that I could be Mrs. Claus. I wish I'd kept it, but I did not. So this is a pattern that I found online. And I will share it in the link in the link in the box below. All of these will be shared each time in the box below. I don't know even if I have them written down. To be honest, I can't read my own handwriting most times. So I'm going to have to go back and find it and post it for you. And Kristen's going to sit over there and laugh about it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So if y'all have received cards from me, you get it. You've seen my handwriting. This is Spring Green, Red Heart Spring Green. And um, like I said, I'll share it down below. I did use a G-hook. But for this pattern, I only went through round seven, and that's because the tree was going to be huge. And I got these little star buttons from Miss C. Miss C, and it's perfect for this tree. And I did this tree because this reminds me of the nostalgic ceramic Christmas trees that everybody has that has all the little bulbs on it. I need to find some little, um, I meant to look for some. Before I did this, I was going to look on Timu because I figured they probably had them. Um, some little tiny light bulbs, you know, the little Christmas tree lights that were maybe tiny button-like things or something that I could stick in each one of these, like the Christmas tree. You guys know the tree I'm talking about, right? The ceramic tree that everybody had sitting on their television or on their stereo. Everybody had one of those trees, and they've remade them in so many ways lately. I saw QVC had them for sale. I saw um, Hobby Lobby had a great big blow up one, I think. And um, we were looking at it. And then <laughs> my husband looked at it. And he's like, it's $300. I'm like, don't you dare. Not that we could, but that's crazy. Who's going to pay that? That's crazy. Um, it was three foot tall, I think. But still, that's insane. And I think it was a blow up. It could have been ceramic. Who knows? But I know that it was nostalgic it was remembering this tree and this one just reminded me of that tree that sat for me it was my grandma's house it sat on her tv this was my grandmother and my grandfather and that's not their house i think that is my mom's house um that is in 1979 yep that's mom's house and that would have been um when i was five yeah and that quilt right there, my mom made that quilt. So, yep, even my mama was crafty, too. I can't do that, but she does. And there's my grandma. And I'm thinking this was at her house. I think it is. But I'm not sure. We've got the poinsettia. Is. Wait, is that the... That's the one, that's the table that sits in front of the window. Yeah, but that's not what I was looking at. What are you looking at? Let me see this. Hold on a second. Y'all know I can't have C. Is that I can't tell if that's the tree I don't think it is there is a tree there I don't think it is because it's got little tiny Christmas and like I said that's mom's house so that's not the tree but that's me and my grandma my mom's mom and um, yeah that was us at Christmas time and so just a wonderful memory that tree meant a lot to me and I really like this tree this also if you wanted to make this pattern Reminds me of, if you do it like this, Kristen said, it's a Grinch tree. It is a Grinch tree. I love it so much. I love it. I love the Grinch. It's dual purpose. It is. And so then we're going to talk about 
the um, Christmas chain that we're doing for the tree. And I messed up, y'all. I like sewed it together before I set it around the things. So I just hot glued it together. It's my tree. Nobody's going to care, right? So this is Red Heart Cherry Red, and it has a nice little bell um, button glued on there. And this is the moss stitch. And so the moss stitch is um, you chain so many chains, and then I think you single crochet back into the fourth chain, and then you chain one, uh, skip one, chain one, yeah and then crochet into the next one. And you do that all the way across. And then we get to the end, you chain up two, single crochet in the space, chain one, single crochet in the space across. And you repeat that pattern over and over and over again. Look, there's glue. Look and make sure for yourself online, but I looked up moss stitch and I think it just makes a very beautiful pattern. It also, I've noticed lately when I've been using it, it makes a very drapey pattern if you're doing a blanket or a shawl or scarf or whatever, but yep, yeah, that's, the next one, so we have silver, a spring green, metallic white, and cherry red. So we've started, and if you wanted to, you could just stop right there and hang them as ornaments on your tree like that. You could fold them over like this and make ornaments and put on your tree, but I'm trying to see how long we can get it, right? So now Kristen's going to tell you her portion of the day. What? The picture. Oh, yeah, you do. Sorry. So I was out of town one day, and I came back, and Mom said, Go look at these ornaments at a spot. This was another we have to have it ornament. Because we're crazy. We are crazy. This is, if you don't know who it is, this is Uncle Si from Duck Dynasty, and it says Merry Christmas, Jack. And my husband's name is Jack, and my son's name is Jackie Lee. So there is that part, and then there's also we love Duck Dynasty. There was That's a, a fact, Jack. That is a fact, Jack. I have a tapestry <laughs> in my room of Uncle Sa that says that is a fact, Jack. And all of the ornaments are different. There was this one. There's one that has a logo. There's a pink one. I think that has Mary Kay on it. Mary Kay. Is that her name? Phil's wife? Kay. 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 Just Kay. No, I thought it was Mary. And then... You're thinking about Christmas. <laughs> there was one with all of them on it. And then one year, there was a Christmas play that my brother was in. And he dressed up as Uncle Sa. Yeah, you can see it there. So, it was so much fun. It was really fun. And I tried to find a picture of me from Christmas plays because I always dress up as something weird. Uh, not weird, but something different every time. But There's some in there. We will find some, them we to will share. Find them. Because I had planned to share some of those as well. But we love Duck Dynasty, and I just found it fitting because that is a memory from my childhood. I love it. She was an angel. I will find pictures. I was I was an angel, a star, a Christmas tree, a snowman. I was a little bit of everything. Some of those weren't Christmas plays, though. Some of those were for the fire department you dressed up. I remember Like the, the Christmas tree, I think, parades. was the fire department parade. I was a Christmas tree in the play as well. I do remember that. I think we're going to end up probably grabbing some of those pictures and doing a slide share for y'all. If you want to see that, put it. Put something down the just in the comments that lets me know that you'd like to see a slideshow of all the pictures of gone past of things that we'd like to share because I'm I would love up. to do it. I would love to do it to show you the me dressed up for Halloween and the for, as Mrs. Claus and the kids and the things that they've done. My oldest even That's played helpful. Santa at one time, um, many times actually for the fire department. So um, it's just a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun doing it. So if you'd like to see those, leave a comment down below and we will maybe do a separate slideshow where we do those and um, talk about what, you know, what those pictures mean and, or, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see Very what we blurry, do. Very but. Oh, look at the little angel. I was in the Christmas choir and I had a little angel outfit on. You're so cute. So those are some things that um, we've done. I guess the tradition would be the Christmas Christmas the plays. Christmas plays. Those were my favorite growing up. At one time, um, a friend and I directed Christmas plays for the church every, every year. Every year. It was so stressful, but so much fun. And we did that for a very, very, very long time. And then after that, I still helped with the Christmas plays, um, but didn't direct them. And at times, I even helped create costumes. Now, when I say create costumes, I don't sew. The ladies in the church made costumes because our church was poor. They made costumes out of cheap fabric that we got, you know, on the markdown thing or whatever anybody had. I think somebody donated a bunch of fabric even. But the costumes I made were for children usually 
or accessory pieces. So I have a picture where I crocheted a headband for a maid at the end. I also have a picture, um, I bet I don't have a picture, maybe. I would take white um, jumpsuits, like sweatpants suits, top and bottom, and take fiber fill and glue it in clumps to it so they could be little sheep. And then I would take the headbands that people wear to push their hair back and crochet a tube to go over it in white and then use felt to make the ears or crochet ears to make sheep or um, horses or donkeys. I remember doing a lot of that. Maybe I can go back and find pictures. I don't know. But if I can, I will try to share those at some point this year. This year. This yeah, this year. Month. This month. So you guys can see everything. There are so many things I would love to share. I just don't know that we'll have enough time to get to them all. But we're going to do our best to share our memories with you. Oh my goodness, look at that big yawn, monster yawn. Dude, dose of hot rod. Yep. So we are going to do our best to share all those with you and let you in on our Christmas um, memories traditions and, tradition. and memories and all the nostalgic Christmas. So, and we're going to take you along with us as we go to do some of the things that we always do. There are some videos in the past where we have shared pictures um, on YouTube of things we've done as well. So don't forget to be kind because... You don't have else's journey. And... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.